dear friends students today we will discuss about the tourism marketing under this tourism marketing we will concentrate on personal selling and merchandising and the objective of this lesson is you will be able to know how personal selling can play an important role in tourism organization what are the essential aspects required for personal selling what are the different functional aspects of personal selling you will be able to understand what is merchandising as a travel professional or tourism professional how can you develop merchandising for tourism marketing dear students it has been witnessed number of time when proper advertisement is there publicity is there public relation is there potential tourist or customer is well aware about the product but the moment he is coming for final sale or final purchase he is not able to buy the product or buy the tourism package and when we critically examine what's went wrong then we realize that it was because of a mistake from the selling staff because that salesman was not proper he was not able to provide the proper query he was not able to handle the objection properly or the questions properly of the tourist and therefore that entire deal is not being materialized because of this important aspect therefore in tourism also this personal selling play an important role dear friends when we talk about the personal selling or salesmanship you might have observed big hotels big gem jewelry shops big airlines their personal selling staff are the most important medium or they are the most important pillars when we talk about the potential sale into the actual sale and some of the place you will be surprised to know there are certain example if you visit khajuraho if you visit jaipur if you visit agra or if you visit delhi the big showrooms they pay salaries 1 lakh rupees per month to those salesmen because this salesman is able to handle the people there is a famous phrase or selling if you are able to sell refrigerator to a penguin then you will be called as a successful salesman so personal selling is very important of course a salesman should have both the skill and this can be categorized into two skills one is the personal skill and second one is the social skill the first one is the personal skill he should have good health proper dressing a smiling face ready to serve polite softness customer handling all these are the important aspect when we talk about the personal skills if you visit the oberai hotel you will find their frontline staff those are directly in touch with the tourist they are properly dressed up the boys are looking like grooms and girls are looking like brides at the same time they are quite courteous also similarly when we talk about the airlines their frontline staff they are very appropriate so far as dressing is concerned so far as their language is concerned their communication is concerned their smiling face is concerned so personal selling staff the training is very important training about their own grooming their soft skill i met during my europe trip to the vice president of club med and while interacting with her she was mentioning who was looking after the european market she said that 80% of my stress is on the soft skill for the selling staff or the those are doing the personal selling work because these are the people those interact with the other stakeholders and they are the people 
those convert these stakeholder into the these are the potential one supplier is coming customer is coming for some other purpose but this if the personal selling staff is appropriate effective and efficient then definitely he will be able to generate profit for the organization so he should have personal skills but at the same time social skills are also important if you visit any gems and jewelry shop the salesman is able to understand if a bengali client is there so he will say dada namaskar kimona chin if a tamil is there vadakam yapida irka if a odia fellow is there agya namaskar apana kimite achanti if a gujarati fellow is there mota bhai tame su che kem che what i am trying to tell you that this personal selling staff should have the social skill he should have the clear knowledge about the cross cultural aspect so how to handle a lady who is coming from salala dubai or muscat or oman and how to handle a lady who is coming from australia or new zealand or sweden so this cross cultural understanding is very important this is very important aspect when we talk about the social skill for the personal salesman personal selling further says if you want to be effective or efficient you have to have good in the negotiation skill you have to have the idea what does he want or what does she want for this very purpose you have to have idea you have to have history you have to have to you 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 have to explore the person what is his expectation what is his buying capacity and fortunately or unfortunately hardly personal selling staff has 2 minutes time or a minute time or few seconds in his hand so he should have should be the master of psychography or psychology so that he can easily understand those demographic priorities of the customer dear friends when tour in tourism the client is coming he should be able to handle the client properly first of all how to greet the person sir may i help you good morning sir have a nice day sir please come welcome so this is how the personal selling staff he is trying to break the ice so the second aspect in personal selling is related with the investigation here the personal selling staff or the salesman can raise certain questions or query so that he can come to know about the background of the client or the tourist sir may i know where do you want to go sir what is the purpose are you going for the leisure trip or you are going for some conference of a medical purpose or any other purpose what will be the sir how many days do you wish to stay there sir may i know your budget so all such questions can be raised through which you can come across about the person's background about his intention and then you can make the presentation you can provide them the solution sir this is what you want perhaps sir this is what you expect sir and then of course while you are making the presentations the client may have some objection or queries he may have the difference of opinion so try to handle those objection in such a manner try to fulfill his query in such a manner so that he may be agreed he may extend your his consent yes this is what the option i know this is what the option i agreed with so as a personal selling staff you should be able to handle those objections and queries and problems and you should have the sound knowledge how to handle them properly once you are able to handle them properly once you are able to satisfy and then the last stage is commitment as a personal selling staff or as a salesman you have to wrap up the entire discussion negotiation in such a manner so that deal should take place deal sheet means the client should be agreed yes i am agreed with this airline ticket 
yes i am agreed with this hotel i wish to stay yes i am agreed to have this sort of food yes i am agreed to have this sort of transportation so finally he may say yes i am ready i am agreed to have this tour package for me or for my family dear friends when we talk about personal selling you have to be very careful about the technical knowledge know how when we talk about the product that product may be a physical product or that product may be a service product also so you should be well aware about that product so that you can short out all the information whatever is being raised by the person concerned or the client or the tourist he may ask about that 2 by 2 sleeper video coach he may ask about that dreamliner air flight he may ask about a320 bus what is it he may ask about the atr he may ask about the charter so a personal selling staff should have the sound knowledge about those transportation when we talk about the air flight when he talk about the cruises he is selling the cruises you should have the sound knowledge about those cruises what are the facilities inside even you should have the sound knowledge about the price and you should have the margin you should have the knowledge about the margin available while he is asking for some discounts not only this he should be able to understand the comparison between your product and the other product because tourist may ask that you are selling for this particular price whereas another travel agency is pack- selling this package for this price what's the difference what is the advantage i will be able to get if i am hiring a ticket from delhi to shimla by this video coach or this ac volvo coach how it is better than the other volvo coach being supplied by the other travel agency so all these things are very important when we talk about the tourism as a personal selling staff you should have the sound knowledge about the other related aspects also those are the peripheral one like during the travel you will be given free of course this particular thing you will be able to enjoy the movies you will be able to enjoy uh, light breakfast or you would be able to enjoy the water bottle so all those things should be also known to you so that you can satisfy the tourist dear friends effective sales persons always develop they understand the empathies with the customer and more acceptable to the customer you know sometime uh, he offer tea or coffee to the client so that he will be comfortable so first of all that salesman should understand the psyche of the customer and accordingly he should hand, handle them and one of the important aspect and the duty is he should also collect the information or the data which may further update his knowledge as well as for the product development product design whatever the information as a feedback is being provided by the customer or by the tourist say tourist says yes the electricity is good Uh, the 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 you know gadgets are good but this is their the big problem so he should convey it, say for uh, thailand the tour is from monday to thursday four days whereas client is asking can i utilize my saturday sunday and there is another off day or compensatory holiday so all this information has to be passed properly by the salesman to the management so that further modified product can be developed to satisfy the tourist as such a salesman should be a good convincer also convincer means who can convince the person who can convince the potential customer that what to buy what not to buy he should be able to convince the customer that the product which is being sold out to him it is one of the best product and if he misses this opportunity this opportunity will be missed forever therefore this is the right time this is the right price this is the right place from where you are buying the product all these conventional convincing power should be there when we talk about the personal selling dear friends as a personal selling staff while you are working for this very purpose you have to be very effective because uh, your efficiency and your success 
the outcome of your personal sale deal will depend upon the customer satisfaction and definitely once you are able to handle that deal you will be called as the personal selling staff with high proficiency and their your career growth your future promotions all these will depend upon your capability how you are handling this deal dear students a sales person must be sensitive to the reality of the situation sometime on a particular situation you may not be able to consult with your seniors but you have to handle the queries the question at your level and you have to handle them in such a manner sometime the position is very embarrassing for the customer because he does not have the money and there you can come forward even you can offer if there is a policy of the company yes if it is a very costly jewelry or gem he is buying but he is right now not carrying that much cash then you can allow ask him if you have the international card that card also can be utilized so payment can be through card or they can send the payment later on deal can be final right now like for the carpets and other things uh, for gems and jewelry this is being followed and once they are reaching back returning back to their country they can send the payment and once the payment is being received you can courier uh, that product or uh, carpet or gems and jewelry to them of course when we talk about buying behavior of the customer as a personal selling staff you should have the clear idea about the buying behavior of the person because unless you are expert in that to analyze the buying behavior you may not be able to sold out your product most of the time you may encounter with the position where the client is using no he is using the word yes but at the same time he is saying but i am sorry so you should be able to handle the, all these situations how to handle them and this is what we call the the duty and the responsibility of the personal selling staff your sale is not your your duty is not over once you have sold out the product dear friends you are concerned with the post sales call also if you know the business person as a successful manage uh, you know ground level manager because it is you who is managing the client you should be able to handle the post sale call also you may be able to speak to him sir hope you have reached safely to the airport hope you are reached safely to the bus stop or train stop have you received the consignment and consignment is proper or not so all these things are there you have to inform him so your product knowledge is important but at the same time you should have the knowledge related to that product sometime people are coming they ask what are the nearby area which i can visit he may ask what are the important things those i have to take as precaution while i am visiting this destination or place or this country so dear friends because you are the person who spends maximum time with the client during his purchase so as a tourist he will be more open to you and you have to provide all the information those are authentic those have the credential and where you feel like a friend of the tourist so you have to work as such as an ambassador and i am sure once you are doing all these things definitely you will be able to prove an asset to your travel organization or the tour operation company another important aspect of marketing tourism marketing is merchandising or the sales promotion in fact you might have seen or witnessed whenever you are going to a travel agency to book your travel holiday or tour package might have encountered sometime when the sales person is telling to you or conveying to you sir if you buy this tour package we will give you free of cost bag carry bag or sometime water bottle or sometime goggle or sometime caps or he may say sir the entry tickets may be free or 25% if you buy it from us 25% discount would be there or if you buy it from us you will be given the priority check in so all these are the parts of merchandising or sales promotion 
Sometime window display also when you are buying some product, certain other items are there, those may create you know um, a sensitivity when you are going say for adventure tourism, you are buying the adventure tour package, you are going for climbing and he is selling you the goggle which is very important for climbing which you had not. Even sometime ropes, sometime other tools or say sticks, all these are the part of the merchandising. And merchandising the objective is to make customer aware that what are the other facilities or amenities those are available within the showroom or within the office or shop. Sometimes some of the material or pictures they may prompt you, they may, they may give you an excitement to you and you may ask what is it and he is saying sir this is the nearby hotel. If you reach to Manali this is the hotel which is nearby and if you wish to stay we will give 25% discount if you are booking from us. So because of the interior, because of the design, because of some posters, you tempted to buy certain other items. They may be chargeable also. We basically call them the verticals. Those are related with the tour package or tour product. This may be peripheral things. Those are required to have the successful tour package. It is not only the tour package, even if you are hiring a taxi from a travel agent from Delhi to Agra and he is conveying sir if you are visiting we have the coupon, free coupon, you can have the lunch in a midway hotel which is in between Agra to Delhi or he can say you or he can convince you sir if you are coming, if you are hiring our taxi the entry parking rates you need not to pay. You need not to pay anything for toll, toll tax because everything is being included in it. So this merchandising play an important role and merchandising relies on the display of materials and skills. Certain facilities are being provided to the tourist like when a tourist is going to a hotel on 31st December for celebration of dinner and at the booking he has been given a priority check-in into the hotel room as well as evening gala dinner party free of cost or if he wishes to consume alcohol 25 or 30 percent discount or dance floor is complimentary to the residential guests. So sometime a guest may keen to stay to enjoy all these things all this is a part of the merchandising or the sales promotion. As such, there is an ample opportunity available to the salesperson or to the company to offer all these things as merchandising to the client. And sometimes client also feel comfortable to buy all these additional services actually which originally he was not planned to buy. Like a very simple thing when you are going to the shoe shop and shoe is of leather color or uh, say another color, the shopkeeper is selling you that shoe polish also which suits to your, the color of your shoes. Sometime the shoe packaging material, sometime the lace of shoes, you were, you had no plan originally to buy all these items but since you are buying the shoes all these are the complementary which may be useful for you in near future. They may be chargeable also, there may be, there may be some discountable prices also, some credential also sometimes we are going to the Bata shop and even shoe brush we buy from the Bata shop because Bata has some name, some credential. Therefore similarly while we go to a travel agency we buy the ticket from Delhi to Milan, Italy but at the same time we are exchanging the foreign exchange and we are giving some rupees to them and we are collecting some euro from them. So travel agency may have the forex facility for the tourist. Travel agency or tour operation unit may provide you the free travel insurance or the travel insurance 
facility on payment basis sometime you know uh, if you are going for adventure tourism or some if you are going for wildlife tourism the hat the cap the colored shirt say like brown or green color shirt while you are going for hunting or, or not for hunting rather for wildlife those are useful for that so all they are very important when we talk about the uh, tourism promotion or tourism marketing or marketing promotion dear friends so we have discussed today the important aspects those are related with the personal selling and merchandising i am sure once you will go through to this contents again you will be able to understand that what are the features what are the essential characteristics required to be a good personal selling staff and what are the aspects those are related for the successful deal under the merchandising thank you very much